Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you three different ways to find the giant squid that lives here next to the castle in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, the first opportunity you're gonna have to see this giant squid is to do the main mission flying class. Now, this is what you do directly before getting your broomstick where you learn how to fly around campus. And when you start this class, you actually go on a mission where you fly through rings that are located around the castle. Now, you're gonna go with a guy named Everett. And as you're flying around and going through these rings, you'll come across a point in the lake where the giant squid will reveal a little bit of itself. I believe it sticks out a couple tentacles and you can stop and kind of look at it for a second. Everett makes a comment about it, but this is the very first way that you get to encounter the giant squid. Now, the second way to see this squid is definitely the most reliable, but is only available to students that are in Slytherin. So if you're not in Slytherin, you're not going to be able to get down here. If you are in Slytherin, however, you just want to head toward the common room of flu flame. And once you take that Slytherin common room flu flame, we're going to head down at the spiral staircase that we spawn in front of. And once we get to the bottom of the staircase, we're gonna head into the common room and we're gonna take a right. And over here, we're gonna have three giant windows. Now, I don't know 100% sure if it works for every window. I've seen different clips where it does. I don't think it matters too much, but I took the one on the right. And all we have to do is cast a couple basic spells on the window. Now, after casting a couple spells on this window, you'll get a little scene where the giant squid will slap its tentacle up against the window. And it's pretty fast, so you have to be paying attention as it'll whip it away really quick and you'll have no other chance of seeing it. Uh, but if you come down here and you're casting at the window and you can't get the giant squid to pop up, one thing that I tried that helped me was to take a different flu flame outside of the castle. And then I took the flu flame back to the common room, came down here, did it, and it worked pretty quickly. So again, just come down here, start casting some spells at the window, and you should be able to see the giant squid here. Now, the third and final way to find this squid is definitely the most tedious, but is for sure the most rewarding, is you'll have a 15 to 20 second window to see most of the squid coming out of the water. And it's a pretty cool sight, definitely the best view. However, it can take a while to see. So essentially what you need to do is hang out around this lake area. I have spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to figure out how this thing works. And unfortunately, it appears that it's completely random. There are no triggers. There's not a specific time of day. This squid just randomly pops out of the lake at random times. And if you're in the area, you'll have a chance to see it. If you're not, you won't. Now, I don't want to sit here and say that it's going to take you seven full Hogwarts days to see one as if you hang out in this area for an entire Hogwarts day, which isn't really that long. There's a good possibility that you'll see it. One thing I've noticed is that all the encounters that I've had with it have been during the daytime hours. So I've never seen this thing at night. I can't say that it doesn't come out at night. I'm sure maybe someone has seen it at nighttime. But for me, I've only seen it during the day. So I would recommend at least trying that first. There's two different locations that will pop out of the water. One is kind of over here in the middle of the lake in front of the boathouse. So if you hang out in this area, you'll probably see it pop up here. Another spot is over here in the middle of the lake on the other side of this rock that's kind of sticking out of the water. Generally, what I'll do if I'm looking for this thing and what I did before making this video is if you just hang out back here where you kind of have a good view of the entire lake, you can just wait right here. And what's really nice about this squid is that when it comes up out of the water, it's extremely loud. So if you're anywhere near this lake, you're gonna hear it. And when you hear it, all you have to do is look around as you'll have plenty of time to find this thing. But again, like I said, unfortunately, as of right now, it doesn't appear like there's any triggers or any specific time of day. If there's anything that you guys know different, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to know if there's a way to get this thing to pop out of the water on command. But other than that, these are the three ways that you can find the giant squid here in Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.